Right, so here we're going to start having a look at probability. Now, probability, uh, I think, is uh, it's helpful to think of it as a fraction, um, because probability can be anywhere from 0 to 1, uh, and that means as a decimal you might have something like 0.5, or as a fraction you might have a half, um, but I think it's most helpful to think of it as a fraction, and the way that you find this fraction is to consider probability like this. It is the... Um, I'm going to put desired outcome, uh, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment. Oops. Out, sorry, desired outcome uh, out of, you know, divided by as a fraction out of all possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. So the way I'm going to start talking about this is as a bag. So imagine we have a bag uh, that has some balls in it, and you have some red ones. We're going to have three red ones, and we're going to have one, two, three or five uh, blue turquoise ones. Now, I want to know what the probability is that if I pick a ball at random, what's the probability that it's red? So this time, the desired outcome, the outcome that I want, is that I pick a red ball, uh, and there are three. There are three possible desired outcomes. There are three possible red balls that I could take. Uh, but the number of possible outcomes, uh, well, how many balls are there altogether? Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls so the probability that I pick a red one is 3 out of 8. Uh, the probability that I pick uh, a blue one, well, how many blue balls are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of possible outcomes, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 5 eighths. And that's kind of probability. Um, let's say it's not uh, balls in a bag. Let's say it's uh, students in a group of people. There are, they're going to be, let's say... Uh, 12 blonde students, and the entire class is going to be 30 students. So what's the probability that I pick someone who's blonde? Well, the, the desired outcomes, there are 12, and how many possible outcomes? How many possible people are there to choose from? There are 30. So it's just 12 out of 30. Um, oh, what else could it be? It could, it, could be it could be anything. It could be uh, boys and girls in a group. Uh, perhaps there are uh, seven boys and 10 girls, and I would like to know the probability that I pick a boy. Well, there are seven boys out of 17 possible people, and the probability that I pick a girl is going to be, uh, there are 10 girls out of 17 people. So that's probability, uh, that's the basics of probability. So there's a quick question there. Um, I pick a ball out of this bag at random. Let's give you a bag. Uh, it's going to have some purples, it's going to have some blues, and it's going to have a red. Uh, yeah, one red. So I pick a ball out of this bag at random. What's the probability that it's red, turquoise, purple, or yellow? Uh, if you want, you can pause here and have a quick think about your own answers, or just leave it playing as I tell you. So the probability that it's red, uh, the desired outcome is a red ball, and there's one of those out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls altogether. So it's one eighth. The probability that it's turquoise, well, there are four turquoise balls out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are still eight in there, so it's four eights. Probability that I pick a purple is three. There are three purple out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, probability that it's yellow, there are no yellows. So it's zero eights, which is the same as zero. The probability is zero, which means it's impossible. Uh, now, one quick thing. Sometimes um, you'll be told to give your answer as a fraction uh, in its simplest form, in its simplest form. Now simplifying fractions is um, a different topic, but it comes up here, so we'll talk about it briefly. Um, this four eights I had as the probability of picking turquoise, uh, that fraction simplifies because there's a number that goes into the numerator and the denominator. Uh, they're both even, for example, so I can half them both to get two over four. But again, those are both even, so I can half both of those to get one out of two. So the probability is a half. Uh, same with this fraction up here, uh, where we're talking about blonde students. Uh, 12 out of 30, they're both even, so we can divide them by two to get six fifteenths. And then those are both, uh, uh, three goes into both of those numbers, so I can divide them both by three to get two fifths. So that would be that fraction in its simplest form. So that's probability. Uh, you can think of it as a fraction like this. It is the uh, num it's, it's the desired outcome, it's the, the outcome that you're looking at, which might be picking a coloured ball, it might be picking a certain type of student, 
uh, out of all possible outcomes. So how many balls are there altogether or how many students are there altogether? And in short, that's probability. Hope that helps.